You know, uh, Monte's journey has been a tough journey. I think his upbringing, uh, the job that his mom and his family have done growing up in a tough town of Flint, Michigan, and overcoming all the challenges and obstacles that are in Flint. And uh, he's proud of being where he's from. He's got a tremendous grit and toughness about him. And for a very young player in terms of NBA experience, he has a poise beyond his years. Monte Morris, long three, and he banks it in. Monte Morris with it. Big time there for the youngster. Basketball has opened up so many doors for me. I got my chance, and now I'm just trying to, trying to run with it and show the world, you know, I can play at this level. My name is Monte Morris, and this is my basketball game. Uh, I was born in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grew up in Flint, Michigan. Flint, you know, it was fun for me growing up, being the only child. I was always the youngest on the block. I was like in second grade. All my friends was like in the sixth and seventh grade. So playing basketball outside with them, it was real physical. That's what uh, shaped me today is to go out there and always have older friends. Just being around my mom, going up to her uh, basketball practice because she coached at my high school on um, girls basketball. So I will always be in the way, always up there, interrupting practices, running around. And then me and Kyle Kuzma met uh, at Nethercut in uh, third grade. And that was like my long friend, um, and we just been cool ever since. In the eighth grade, I figured out what high school I was gonna go to. I had a lot of hype coming out of the seventh and eighth grade. Um, like the varsity coach, Coach Mike Williams, would always come to my middle school games. So he came and saw me, and I had like 35 points in a game. And he was like, man, don't think about JV. Like you gonna, you gonna develop and mature and play varsity. And I was 13 years old at the time, so I was real nervous. I was about 115 pounds, like five foot seven. <laughs> I ended up being all state my freshman year, being all state from my sophomore to senior year, and I won Mr. Basketball of Michigan my senior year. That award, you know, means a lot to me, and it defines my character. Just beating the odds and beating guys out like James Young, who went to Kentucky, Kay Felder, Derek Walton, and those guys. So it was a big time accomplishment for me. I grew up a Michigan State fan. Like, I wanted to go to Michigan State so bad. Marquise Gray played at my high school in 2000 to 2004 and ended up going to Michigan State. I was young, I was fifth grade when he was there and I would always go up there with my coaches. And I would tease Izzo and tell him, you're gonna be recruiting me when I was real young. And I mean, Izzo got a great relationship to this day. People say, why Izzo didn't recruit you? I just say, I never, I never played good in front of him. Iowa State, they like was recruiting me in like eighth grade. I was getting so much mail from them and we would just always throw it to the side. <laughs> like throw it to the side. Like I'm not going to Iowa State. Like why didn't you recruit me? So we ended up, I was like, you know what? Let's go take a visit down there because you got to use your visit. So we flying into Des Moines. She looking out the thing. She see all dirt. It's just dirt everywhere. <laughs> they like, yeah, I mean, this is, this is what it is, man. It'll give you a chance to focus. But I promise you, if you come here, it'll be the best decision of your life. I committed to Iowa State. June 27, uh, 2012, which is my birthday. Moved on to my senior year, and then I got to Iowa State. And it was amazing. And Coach Fred had told me he wasn't gonna give me nothing. He was gonna make me come in and work. But I wasn't getting a lot of minutes. The middle of the season, I started. I started my first game. My breakout year was really my sophomore year, but my freshman year, I played good down the stretch, averaging like 13 points a game from the Big 12 tournament all the way through the NCAA tournament. It kind of just, turn people's heads for my next few years there. Uh, we won a Big 12 championship my sophomore year. Coach Fred had ended up taking a child to Chicago Bulls that summer. And he was like, man, it's tough. You know, it's just some jobs you can't pass up. And, and we all respected that. And he just was like, man, I'll either be coaching you or coaching against you soon as you, if you keep doing what you're doing. You know, and we wished each other the best. And like now, I'm gonna be playing against him. Last week, we showed you Monte Morris's years growing up in Flint, Michigan, and his decision to go to Iowa State. Join him this week as he tells you why he was so important to finish college, about his time in the G League, and why his mom may have been more excited than him when he got his contract with the Nuggets. Monte Morris, long three, and he banks it in. Monte Morris with a big time there for the youngster. My name is Monte Morris, and this is my basketball game. 2013, 14 was my freshman year. We went to the Sweet 16. My sophomore year, we were really good. And I ended up hitting a game-winning shot against Texas my sophomore year in a Big 12 tournament. Three seconds. Morris driving right side. Fadeaway jumper for the win. Good! 
everybody just was like, you had a big game. That's when I changed my Twitter and my IG name to Big Game Tay. And like everybody called me that on campus, like Big Game Tay. So I ran with that. My junior year, people was telling me I could go first round in that draft, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave. I was like 140 uh, assists away from from being all time in school history, so that was big for me. And then getting my degree, being the second person in my family to get that, that was a big accomplishment for me. Um, I ended up foregoing the NBA and and coming back to college and did everything I wanted to do. It was bigger than the NBA because the NBA was always going to be there. I had a draft party back in Flint, Michigan. As they said, different nuggets to like Monte Morris. Like it was, it was crazy in there. Like cause everybody that grew up in the ghetto with me, my teachers from elementary school, my college coach flew in. It was, it was big time. It was big time for sure. I remember her, she was just crying and that brought a lot of tears to me too. Cause she used to always tell me to go to sleep and stuff because I would have a rim always on the back of my door and I was just bumping into it playing basketball and she would just always be like, you better go to the NBA, you love basketball this much, staying up this late, bouncing off the walls and stuff. Her hugging me and crying me, I knew it was deeper than just me like getting drafted. It was just like the steps and her putting a basketball in my hand and giving me the opportunity. So it's like, you know, her seeing me from here and then going up just playing back all that stuff. I know that's what, what her tears was from because I had so many distractions just being around certain environments as a young kid and I never got drifted. I always stayed tunnel vision and stayed the course. I think that was big for her because I'm a reflection of her. I love the G League. It just helped me get a lot of reps against some athletes who were in the NBA, some, some guys who were trying to get back, some guys who just got in like me. So I just try to take every opportunity I can and attack it. I told myself, I called my mom, I called my trainer. I was like, yo, I'm gonna stay in Denver like from, from uh, April all the way to summer league. I'm like, I'm gonna shoot the ball every day. I'm gonna lift every day. I'm gonna just focus on Monte for these three months before summer league. And then summer league came and it was just so much different from last year. So I was seeing the floor, like I was playing with confidence, having fun. We waited for like three, four, five days after summer league and my agent called me. He was like, yo, this is what they're offering you. What you want to do? And I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I want to do this. Like, to be up full time and just do what I love playing. I got my chance, and now I'm just trying to trying to run with it and show the world, you know, I can play at this level. It's still early in my career. I'm going to keep learning every game, but I just got to go out there and just play not to not make mistakes. Just go out there and play free and just live with the results. <laughs>